Well, probably my least enjoyable week of of uh, of games, starting with Western Illinois last week, kind of threw the week off with having to move our game to Monday um, and, and the day of travel kind of stuff kind of threw us off. Um, <clears throat> had to play on a practice field and, you know, that's a game you'd like to win and, and really be positive going into the conference season. Uh, instead, you lose, you're down 3-0, um, come back, you know, score enough goals to probably win a couple games and, and you just don't. So now you got to, you know, you, you got to get yourself focused for the conference game. You've got really two less days to do it because Monday's typically our off day. So we were playing. So Tuesday was off. And so, you know, you like to have a full week when you know what you got coming in. And Illinois State was, was certainly as good as advertised. I think they're, I don't know what they were picked, third maybe, but I think they're they're the best. They've got the best player in our league by a landslide. I think she's in the top five in the country in goal scored. Um, and they're good. They're, they're, they look a lot like we did, uh, or we look a lot like they did a couple years ago, my first year, where they were very young um, and moving some players around. And, and uh, they just got on us early. It was, a, it was a strange game. I think I looked up with two minutes left in the half, and the scoreboard said, three shots to two, which their three shots were all goals. Our two shots were, were shots off the post. So in a game like that, there wasn't really, other than the first initial threat, um, you know, I thought we actually played pretty well. But, you know, to concede five is disappointing. So that, that we've got to start with that. I think we're just giving up too many goals, and that's a little bit of a mentality. So that's something we're going to correct. We've got a full week to prepare for Loyola. It doesn't get any... Does it get any easier? You get to play the the team that's picked first in the league next on the road, but I think our girls are are looking forward to it. I I've uh, I liked going on the road with this group. I think we've always been a pretty good road team, especially last year. I think we won three or three games on the road in the league, um, and they're a tall task. They've got a graduate transfer from South Carolina who, who played a lot for South Carolina, who was in the Final Four, so she's a handful. Um, and they've, you know, they graduated some of their their top players from last year, but they'll be, they'll be good. So, questions. As far as road environments, is it is this a tough place to go in and play, or? You know, it's an interesting place to go and play. Um, as you know, the, the closer you get uh, to campus, there, there's not a lot of room to put stuff if you're not right on campus, and it's, you know, I don't know, it's maybe a mile off campus, and it's literally on a. A, uh, it's on a city block where you have fence and an apartment complex on one side and then the field ends about where the purple is and the windows are a building. So it's as tight as they can get. Their softball team plays there. Um, so it's the softball is actually a little bit uh, extends the field. So it's, it's really tight. It's turf, obviously. Um, we had a crazy game with them uh, the last time we played there, my first year. Um, very high scoring. Um, so I, I, it's it's a unique environment. Environment, um, and and I'll be anxious to you know to see how it goes. I think for us, our initial objective, I think, is let's get through the first 15 minutes where we're in control, and you know we've given up a couple early goals. Now let's get through the first 15 minutes and sort of settle into the game um, and then and then go from there. So that, that'll be our plan. All right. Thank you.